Blog Talk Radio. Hi, I'm Dr. John Martini, and you are listening to Empowered Living. Hi, this is Byron Katie. Hi, this is Greg Braden. Hi, this is Mark Hope. Hi, this is Dr. Manu Bami. Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Pat Basili, the host of the Dr. Pat Show. Hi, this is Dr. John Gray, author of Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. Hi, this is Joan Borisenko. I'm author of Your Soul's Compass. Hi, this is Dr. Richard Moss, author of The Mandala of Being. Hi, this is Stephen Mitchell. Hi, this is Dan Millman, author of Way of the Peaceful Warrior. Hi, this is James Redfield, author of The Celestine Prophecy. You've tuned in to a radio show that can truly change your life. It's time to break free from the prison of your negative thoughts and release your greatest self. You're listening to Empowered Living with Steve Maraboli. A better today welcomes you to Empowered Living, Life, the Truth, and Being Free with host, speaker, writer, and personal coach, Steve Maraboli. In the next hour, Steve and his expert guests take you on a quest for truth and highlight philosophies and strategies that help you release your greatest self. It's time to focus on your potential instead of your limitations. Here's your host, Steve Maraboli. Welcome, welcome to Empowered Living Life, the Truth, and Being Free. I'm your host, Steve Maraboli. As always, you are welcome to participate with this show. The screen name on AOL Instant Messenger is ABT Radio Show. I know there's so many folks listening all across the world. For those of you listening on Blog Talk Radio, we don't use the Blog Talk Radio chat because there's so many people listening on so many different ways. So the best way for everyone to stay in, co- in contact is through AOL Instant Messenger. And our screen name is ABT Radio Show. Just tell us who you are, where you're from, and go ahead and ask a question. Thank you all for listening to this show. You know, we're coming up on our two-year anniversary here, and in those two years, we have gone from a brand-new radio show to uh, the most listened-to Internet talk radio show in the entire country, and it's all because of you. We don't advertise this show. We simply put this show out there so that uh, we could celebrate knowledge, so that we can communicate empowering information to everybody so that those arms of empowerment can reach out and embrace everybody and over the past couple of years you have all helped so thank you so much for spreading the word about this show for spreading the word about what we do and for getting us some amazing authors this this show has really become a meeting place for today's great communicators and thinkers and I'm absolutely honored to be hosting the show and this next coming year where it's going to get even better longer shows more often so thank you so much for everything you do. I want to say hello to the A Better Today community every single day. I'm honored to be a part of this community. The A Better Today community is just people all across the globe. It doesn't matter of your, of your race, uh, social condition, economic condition, whatever it is. It's just people across the globe who have, like Gandhi said, decided to stop just talking about change but started being that change. And those of you in the A Better Today community, Thank you so much for also spreading the word about this show and for remembering the power of one. One kind gesture, one person at a time, one day at a time. Imagine if you can just do something today that it will benefit somebody else. It could be so simple, a compliment, holding the door open for somebody, uh, uh, helping them with a, a job resume, helping them with interviewing skills, anything, anything you could do that's different from yesterday that awakens you to the, the new day that is today and that helps somebody else. Remember, one kind gesture, one person at a time, one day at a time. The power of one. That's how we create the world we want. You can't just talk about it. It isn't about committees and it isn't about that. It's about living it. You can't have peace. You have to be peace. You can't, you can't have this stuff that you want. It, it, having success is not something you attain. It's something you become. It's something you are. It's something you live. So thank you all for taking the action and living it. Remember, when your intent and your actions are in alignment, you're speaking directly to God. Well, we have a great show for you today. As always, today is one of my favorite guests. She's been on a couple of times. Byron Katie will be here with us sharing her miraculous work with us that she calls the work. So I want to get to the show right away. Byron Katie has one job, to teach people how to stop suffering. And the fact is, when Katie appears, lives change. In 1986, at the bottom of a 10-year fall into depression and anger and addiction, Byron Katie woke up one morning and realized that all suffering comes from believing our thoughts. She experienced with her own eyes and skin that no one is separate from anyone or anything. 
Questioning every painful thought she had, she developed an amazing method of inquiry she called the work. The work asks four simple questions that turn stressful thoughts around. When you work with a thought, you see around it to the choices beyond suffering. Katie has been bringing the work to millions of people all around the world for more than 20 years. Her free public events, weekend workshops, nine-day school for the work, and 28-day residential turnaround house bring long-awaited liberation to people everywhere. Eckhart Tolle says Byron Katie's work is a great blessing for the planet, while Time Magazine calls Katie a spiritual innovator for the new millennium. Katie has written four best-selling books, Loving What Is, I Need Your Love, Is That True?, A Thousand Names for Joy, and Question Your Thinking, Change the World. Her newest book, Who Would You Be Without Your Story, Dialogues with Byron Katie, will be released in October of this year. Her website is thework.com. She's been on Empowered Living a couple times, and we're always honored and blessed to have her on. Byron Katie, welcome to the program. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Good to be here. An honor. Thanks for coming back, and I want to congratulate you. Uh, you, you, um, you have done so much, and I know that it's been your personal dedication to get this work out and to as many people as possible, and you've, you've worked tirelessly at doing that. Yeah, and, that's, that's uh, I re- my job. I recently uh, uh, read and saw that you, uh, that you made it to the Oprah show and had uh, an extensive conversation interview with Oprah, which is information about that's available at your website, thework.com, and I know that Oprah will be uh, f- featuring you exclusively on the, on the Oprah and Friends Network, and I want to congratulate you on that because for two, I want to congratulate us for that. I want to congratulate everybody out there who, who will now have access to this information because this information is really, really powerful. Loyal listeners to the show know that I talk about Katie pretty often because the work really is a miraculous way of thinking and, and something that I've adapted and applied in my own life many, many times. And I want to congratulate you, Katie, for all your hard work and really getting a huge, huge interview with Oprah. So congratulations. Thank you. It was so much fun, so much fun. You know, it's, um, her mind is so wide open, and she's so dear. She's not just a, a figurehead for all of us, a figurehead for change. She is, she's, um, when it comes to an open mind, she's like a child, and her humor, her sense of humor is just so dear. And, in fact, on um, um, a camera crew uh, to do something else for uh, her came to the house a couple of days ago, and it was so much fun. Everyone that works with her is fun. Everything you described earlier before um, my introduction, um, you know, it's, it's happening all around her. It's beautiful to watch. 